crazy stuff you didn't know. A million seconds is about 12 days, while a billion seconds is 32 years. A million dollars may sound almost as good as a billion, but that's only because the average person has no concept of the staggering vast differences between the two amount. However, the New York Times break it down for us by using time as an example. It would take almost 12 days for a million seconds to elapse and 37.7 years for a billion seconds. Yeah, that's a huge difference on top of that. A trillion seconds would amount to no less than 31,709.8 years. That's almost as old as my dad. Radioactive particles from the Cold War were found in the deepest parts of the ocean. We're well aware of the destructive power of nuclear bombs, but now scientists have discovered another lasting consequence of a deadly force. Findings published in 2019 in Geophysical Research Letters reveal that radioactive particles that originated from atomic bomb tests between the 1940s and the 1960s detected in crustaceans that live in the deepest parts of the ocean, the Mariana Trench. According to the Smithsonian, from 1945 to 1963, the United States and the Soviet Union with a little help of the United Kingdom and France detonated more than 500 nuclear bombs, 379 of which exploded in the atmosphere. These tests dramatically increased the amount of carbon-14 on our planet. The Test Ban Treaty of 1963 put a stop to most atmospheric and underwater tests and carbon-14 levels in the atmosphere started to slowly return to normal. Though they are still higher than pre-nuclear levels as ocean waters and land-based life absorb carbon from the air. Pieces of the same metal become permanently stuck together if they touch in space. If you're on Earth and you want to attach two pieces of metal together, you'll need some pretty intense heat to do the trick. But in space, two pieces of metal will be permanently stuck together if they touch, thanks to something called cold welding. This freezing fusion phenomenon was discovered during 1965's Gemini 4 mission, when astronauts were temporarily unable to close a hatch after a spacewalk because the door's metals had fused when exposed to space. Viagra can help plants stand up straighter and last longer. Viagra may typically be prescribed to humans, but it also gives plants a boost, helping them stand up more erect and last longer. Flowers that had been given Viagra looked much fresher and the colour remained longer. Cows moo in regional accents. Language experts have suggested that cows have regional accents just like humans. This phenomenon was first detected by dairy farmers who noticed that their cows had different moos, depending on what herd they came from. Farm barns weren't always intentionally red. Ever notice how pretty much every barn you see is painted red? That's because choices for paint, sealers and other building material were originally extremely limited. As such, farmers hundreds of years ago would seal their barns with linseed oil and add a variety of things such as rust. It was an effective sealant, but it turned the mixture red in colour. When more paint became available, many farmers chose to continue to paint their barns in honour of tradition. The hashtag symbol isn't actually called a hashtag. If you want to be super technical, the term is octofall. In terms of etymology, the octo refers to eight, which is in reference to the points on the symbol. You never look at Instagram and Twitter the same way again. The H and M in H and M stem from its hunting and fishing roots. Ever wonder what the clothing retailer's H and M initials actually stood for? The Swedish company, founded in 1947, originally called Hens, was translated to hers. In 1968, Hens acquired the brand Moritz Widforus, which sold hunting and fishing equipment. As a result, the company then became Hens and Moritz. Finally, in 1974, the brand shortened its name to H and M. Yawning is biological air conditioning. Originally thought to be a social cue, a series of experiments actually suggest a different reason for this bodily function. The reason for yawning it might be that it cools the brain. The stretching of the jaw to yawn increases blood flow in the neck, face and head. In conjunction with that, the deep intakes of breath forces a downward flow of spinal fluid and blood from the brain. The air breathed into the mouth cools these fluids. Our taste buds grow up with us. Have you ever noticed that spinach becomes easier to eat as you grew older? Or maybe it was anchovies or olives. Whatever the food, each person is born with approximately 10,000 taste buds that are replaced around every two weeks. However, as we get older, taste buds stop being replaced and those numbers start to decrease. 
This causes flavors that were too intense when we were younger to become more palatable as we age. If you found that video interesting, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.